Joe Biden promised the world while he was campaigning for the White House. And while he made some big promises, day after day he continues to break them. This is the Closet Conservative Podcast. It was not so long ago that candidate Joe Biden was on the campaign trail and he was making promises to Americans and and Americans local abroad. I mean, it was promises uh, of almost delusion. We simply could not tolerate any more of that horrible person named President Trump. After all, President Trump's tweets were offensive. They were filled with racism and white supremacy. He incited violence against others. He was throwing kids in cages down at the border. He could not effectively handle an immigration crisis. And to hear the left say it, he was destroying our country. And they also said that President Trump was a threat on the world stage as well. You know, President Trump issued a few attacks throughout his uh, tenure as president, but he never entered the U.S. into a new conflict. Yeah, he issued an attack to take out an Iranian leader, and he responded to some actions against the United States. And the left said that he was playing with fire and that he was going to land us in the middle of another war. But of course, that never happened. But now you fast forward to today and we see a completely different situation in the White House. Joe Biden, who claimed he would use military action as a last resort, used military action this week against Iran. Just over 30 days after taking office, he ordered a special strike against a specific target that was backed by Iranian military or Iranian leaders. Yes, it's that same country that he claimed that he could deal with through diplomacy. He claimed that his experience in the Obama administration and the Iran nuclear deal, it would create a perfect scenario for Iran and the United States to become friends once again, that we would all be sitting around the campfire singing Kumbaya once more. Instead, Joe Biden went against his initial statement and he used military action quickly. His press secretary once said that a president did not have authority to act on special interests like this in a sovereign country in such a manner as Biden did. But of course, that was never questioned now that Joe Biden is in office. It was never questioned the fact that everyone said President Trump did not have this authority But now that Joe Biden is in office, these things are acceptable, they're necessary, and they're considered normal. Joe Biden is fighting for a member of his administration that has verbally assaulted government officials in tweets. She has incited things in her tweets. Does that sound familiar to you? It sounds like some of the accusations perhaps they made against President Trump. She ruined the privacy of one who deserved it. Saying and, and outing a name of an individual that had a sexual harassment um, situation. They were a victim of sexual harassment and she outed them, ruining their privacy. She has physically attacked journalists. And while she has obvious issues that led to this physical action, that's perfectly okay because she's on the left. It's perfectly acceptable now that these things happen, that someone is rude and heartless and bigoted on Twitter because they're a member of the Biden administration. Or or what about his promise not to ban fracking? He and Kamala Harris both said that fracking was going to be safe when he took office, but in his first few days in office, he immediately took steps to destroy the fracking industry. And soon to follow was the oil industry. He killed it with, with signing the executive order to destroy the Keystone XL pipeline. Now, if you remember correctly, he made a promise and used a slogan called Build Back Better. He was going to build our economy back better than it was before. But instead, his actions have resulted in job losses and economic losses that amount into the billions of dollars. The left had a major issue with kids in cages while President Trump was in office. That's what they like to call them, was kids in cages as Donald Trump was ripping kids away from the families at the border. That's what you heard. That's what uh, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said when she visited. She was seeing families ripped apart, and it was such a traumatic experience, and it, it, it brought up so much emotion for her. And the mainstream media ran with that story for months. You may have saw the political cartoon on our site that showed up and showed how the terminology change has happened based on who is in office. Because now that Biden is in office, 
There's no issue with putting kids in cages, as the left would call, because that's an acceptable course of action, because he's a Democrat. He said he would deliver for the economy. And the other thing is, he said that he was going to deliver for minorities who were suffering without COVID vaccines and suffering because of the pandemic. Instead, the vaccines are not getting out into the public any quicker. Joe Biden issued a tweet on Friday that said that vaccines were getting out quicker into the public and he was doing such a better job. But it's really not true. The vaccines are not getting out that much quicker. The vaccines were already on the way. It's nothing that Joe Biden has done. Time and again, Joe Biden has made promises and not followed through. He has been proven to be pandering and attempting to continue the social divide between segments of society time and again. What promise has Joe Biden made that actually kept? Well, only ones that were hurting and destroying our country. Only the ones that were not wanted. Only the ones that were doing nothing for all Americans. You see, Joe Biden made promises that he was going to be the president of all Americans. But instead, he is just the president of left-wing radical Americans. He is just the president of big government Democrats and Republicans. He's just the president of establishment Republicans that hated President Trump. He is just the president of everyone that is willing to support him in some way, shape, or form. He's not interested in being a president for conservatives. He's not interested in being a president for someone who believes in fiscal responsibility. He's not interested in being a president for someone who believes in employment and believes in paying for a home, paying for education. He's not interested in being president for someone who believes that you earn a living by going out and taking a job and you maybe increase your educationals or your skills or trade to get your increase in your wage. No, he he wants to be president for those who want those things given away for free. He's not interested in being the president for all Americans. You see, Joe Biden has made promises. But in the tune of the old slogan that the Republicans came out with during the Trump administration about promises made, promises kept, well, Joe Biden's slogan is more promises made, promises broken. Each time Americans have looked for what Joe Biden is going to do, he says one thing and does another. And there's nothing to show that Joe Biden's move to the left is going to slow down or stop. He has every intention of forcing this COVID relief bill through that is nothing but pork-barreled spending that would do little to help Americans. He's more interested in the Equality Act and all of these measures that the Democrats want to push through for their special interest groups, the ones that will not benefit all Americans. It benefits such a small segment of Americans. Less than 5%, I I believe, is one of the numbers that I saw. Such a small subset of American citizens. But that's what he's interested in. He's not interested in being your president. He's not interested in being my president. He's interested in being the president of special interest groups that can help him continue to maintain and win elections. These, These fringe groups. That's all he's after. And the reason that he's going to continue to do that is because too many Americans are falling for the lies. They're falling for the statements that they're making that it's what's acceptable. We should be treating these people differently and doing these things. And they say, well, you know, I'm an emotional person. I believe that and I'm going to go along with it. That's how Joe Biden is planning to win the reelection and planning to continue to remain in office unless the Democrats are moving before his term is over. Promises made, promises broken. That is your president, Joe Biden. I hope you have a great week. We'll talk to you again next Saturday. The Closet Conservative Podcast is a production of The Liberty Loft. Copyright The Liberty Loft 2021. You can find more shows and information on our website, www.thelibertyloft.com, or on any of our social media channels. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to the podcast, leave a five-star review, and share the podcast with your friends.